blessed be. Over the years, many have come into the shop asking how to use charcoal. So today, I figured it would be a great day to demonstrate on how to light it and use it. So I have both loose incense and I have resin right here. And this morning, it is frankincense, okay? And you'll notice that um, we have our leftover charcoal in a plastic bag, and this just keeps it moist and uh, for not drying out, um, because if it dries out, then there is a chance that it won't light later on. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a non-flammable dish. And in this case, I use the little mini cauldrons because it's cast iron, it's not flammable, and I like the way it looks. Also, I have uh, a piece of slate here, or you can use like a flat rock that you find on the beach or on the ground in your yard or anything like that. And this is for keeping uh, your tables from being uh, damaged or heat burned because the cauldron um, or whatever dish that you use can uh, become hot. Uh, some, in some cases it will burn the surface of the table that it's sitting on unless you have something over top of it to protect it for heat resistance. So what I'm going to do is yes I do have a lighter this morning, um, bad me, um, but this is all that I had so use what you have. Okay, so here is a piece of charcoal. This is a charcoal disc that we have and we're gonna use the full thing. Now, um, in order to save uh, some of the charcoal, because there only comes like 10 in a package, you can actually cut this in half and save it for another time. You don't have to use the full disc of charcoal every time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light the charcoal and I'm going to leave it under the flame until I start to see it spark and spit and I said that's what you want to see see it spark and spit okay this is really good charcoal so this is not dried out and you're gonna see that it's gonna keep going very quickly okay and I'm not sure if you can see it here, it's still sparking and spitting. Okay, now we're going to leave it for a few minutes and we're going to allow it to do its thing and I'm going to pull it back here, okay? So that's how you light a piece of charcoal. If it doesn't spark or spit, that means that the charcoal may be dried out or there's not enough active uh, solution in the charcoal for it to catch. And you want to make sure that the handle on your cauldron is upright because this too can also be very hot as well. And unlike myself, I constantly burn myself. So if you can see here, it's starting to turn red, which means that it's ready to use. So all of the white stuff that's lit, it's ready to use. And it can feel the heat coming right off of the charcoal itself now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of our frankincense and I'm going to place it right on top of the charcoal. And that's how you can safely burn a piece of resin. And I'm going to put another piece on there and just give it a few minutes. And now you're going to start to see it's burning. So the scent is releasing and the smoke is wafting into the air. You don't need very much. As I've always told many of our clients, less is more um, because this can get very smoky because of how it's burned. And you'll notice that uh, over time it's slowly melting. Okay. And the smoke, that's only two pieces and look how much smoke you have. So this for myself is smoky enough. Um, I don't need it any more than that. Okay. And we're going to wait just okay so as you can see it's still um, it's still burning but there's not very much frankincense left now if you wanted to continue on with um, with your resin uh, for any type of magical purposes or your ritual work or anything like that you can add some more but right now I'm going to add some loose incense to this So this is a loose incense that I've pre-made. This is one of our shop blends called Sabbat. And I figured it would be appropriate today because today is one of the Sabbats. And we're on the last 
um, stick of the blue moon. So I'm just going to put again a little bit of the loose incense on the charcoal. And you drop it right on, okay? And then it will go from there. And just like the resin, you can add as much or as little as you'd like, but make sure that how much you put on you're okay with, because like I said, it will cause quite a bit of smoke. Whatever you're comfortable with will be your... Now, if you'll notice, the loose incense burns a little bit quicker than the resin, so you will be adding it to the charcoal more frequently than you would be with the resin. So within just a minute and a little bit, that is already already done. So I just put a pinch on there. You can actually add a little bit more, but notice how there's no more, no more smoke. So I'm gonna add some more. Okay, and so as you can see, I've added a little bit more and it's smoking and spitting. Okay, and that everyone is how to work with loose incense and resins. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Blessed be.